the theme for this year's Population Day commemoration, strengthening youth competitiveness for sustainable development, could have come timely for Busia district that has over 70% of its population as youth with a high teenage pregnancy rate. Statistics at Busia Health Center 4 in Busia Municipality indicate that out of the 181 deliveries conducted at this facility in April this year, 41 were teenagers between 10 to 19 years, while in May 54 teenagers in the same age bracket gave birth out of the 207 deliveries. Only last month, out of the 214 deliveries conducted, 60 were teenagers. This means that for the last three months of April, May and June, out of the 602 deliveries, 155 were teenagers, which is 20% of the total. Abkui Caroline, an enrolled midwife at Busia Health Center 4, says many of these are just dragged from home for antenatal, and sometimes it's too late. And some of them, they come with these conditions of intra intrauterine fetal death, whereby some had maybe malaria before, and they do not come to the hospital. At the end, they come and start telling you, but Musao, I'm not feeling my baby moving. When you listen to the fetal heart, actually you not get the fetal heart, whereby you query intrauterine fetal death. She says out of the 272 young girls that registered for antenatal for the past three months of April, May and June, only 155 managed to deliver from here leaving the fate of 177 girls unknown and some opting for abortion. Every day, others come with the criminal abortion, others come with the, the, they even tell us maybe it started by itself, but after you following and getting the history, you will find out that she intended to do it. Mothers, that include Zakia Naiga Gande one and to me, say girls have become wild and are willing to do anything. To remain with their men. Tomana wamu gamba ko, tomana wangu kutambula tambula TV. Ekelo kutambula tambula vote yo, no gendera wano, no gendera wano. Echi kutuwa ala chichi, agama ngenda kufa. Nganyu abutwa. Jyo kwejo kujira vote, gafu. Atusibie ko, tebaguli. Tutuwa ala wakupolisi ni tuba siba na ye tebaguli. They accuse long distance truck drivers and businessmen at Busia border of escalating the vice to which the accused deny. Uh, the system of these parents they have in Busia here, they are, they are, they are used to, give, uh, to, to, to use the business through their kids when they are still young. They give them like uh, bananas, peanuts, share around the Busia town. That's the system of uh, moving around. That's so why they get some contact with the, with the men, with the boys around. Uh. While officiating World Population Day, President Museveni cautioned girls against early pregnancies, but to focus on education. Fellow Ugandans, there's also this problem of high teenage pregnancy. 27% in the Busia district. This means that one out of every four of teenage girls has had a baby before they reach 19 years old. This is not acceptable because it leads to high maternal mortality, cancer, and fistula. Huge tears of the birth canal because the body is not ready for the child birth. If this high teenage pregnancy due to bad parenting, overtake, or moral degeneration, I ask all Ugandans to join me in ending this shameful tripping problem in our country. According to Uganda Bureau of Statistics, Busia population is over 35,000, with 57.6% of children below 18 years, compared to 55% of the national population of the same age. Currently, Uganda's population is estimated at 36.6 million. The country representative for UNFPA, Mr. Lance Benalla, said Uganda risks missing out on its vision to become a middle-income country if efforts are not made to exploit the youthful population. Your Excellency, the Uganda vision 2040 of becoming an upper-middle-income country cannot be achieved if the right investments in the young population are not made to exploit the youthful population and to harness the demographic dividend by turning 
be used into productive human and social capital that will contribute to inclusive and sustainable economic growth of the country. This will not be achieved without ensuring that girls and boys, adolescents and youth enjoy the dignity and human rights to expand their capabilities, to secure their reproductive health and rights, and they are educated and skilled and find decent work. Sibinala requested President Museveni to launch a national campaign that will let Uganda's girls be girls, a campaign that will have Uganda run around the importance of preventing teenage pregnancies, violence, and preventing HIV infection. Benat Iga, UBC TV, Busia.